Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a absolute diabolical build that just occurs with this new event. The fact that it's a new event, the killers get the power to be able to break pallets with um, the invitations. They get a special power once they pick up an invitation. You can pair that with so many killers with this build and you can just shred through survivors no matter the situation. So what's the build we're using? So the first game we're showcasing Freddy because Freddy does a lot better with power uh, pallets than other killers and due to the fact he has his dream pallets. But also we run on Ghostface who doesn't have as much pallet potential to showcase that it works exactly the same and we get, still have that lethality. So what's the build? So on our Freddy build we are using um, dream pallets but we also have the paint thinner so we can see the aura after they drop a dream palette and we have the z block to make them suffer from hemorrhage a little uh, after just because it buffs the dream palettes a little we are then using enduring spirit fury enduring spirit fury after destroying a palette well your um stun duration is decreased by 50 decreased by 50 percent and after you break two palettes the next time you are stunned you will instantly break that palette and with enduring that will basically allow for a free hit we're using deadlock just for a little bit of slowdown so every time a gen is completed the furthest gen um to be progressed is blocked and then we are using hubris hubris is the bread and butter of this build because with the invitation you can break pallets that stacks up to spirit fury with enduring and hubris you can get those insta downs like no tomorrow pair that with freddy's dream pallets which stacks up your spirit fury you can begin insta downs across the board and it makes for very very easy games please use this build and exploit it whilst you can during this event because it is absolutely diabolical and i hope you enjoy the game with ghostface as well uh, it's the same build with just a couple of add-on changes but i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you next time decently good stream plus on top of that three videos coming out today is great for a first day back uh to content creation so we are using dream palettes here now the interaction that apparent well as far as i'm aware the interaction that uh freddy has with dream palettes when you do um destroy a no mine <laughs> this is my one Uh, when Freddy does destroy a dream palette, it is a spirit fury token. <laughs> Don't teabag me and then get destroyed, my darling. That's not how it works. <laughs> we'll give her a love tap on the hook as well. There you go, my dear. Right, we're going to assume they're all the way over here. This is a massive guess, but... Oh, perfect. Anyone nearby? Yes, we do. We have what seems to be, I think, Claude. Yes. We're going to set this here as well. Okay, I want to leave this chase. Ideally, I'm just going to go for a teleport over to the Yunjin. Because I'll be getting the Unhawk. Yep, perfect. Beautiful. Let's go off this uh, Ace here. He doesn't make it very far. There's no way he can. And that, my friend, is a fake pallet. We see his aura for a couple of seconds, and we're able to get this down right here. Beautiful. Okay, so we do have a pallet here as well. And we have our Spirit Fury up for the next time that we do get stunned. What we will do is we will kind of just charge at them. And see what we can do. Big man Aragog, people are happy. Hello, hello, horse. Welcome on in.
Mm. I'm more used to using drum snares than pallets. Oh, hello, Yunjin. I see you. Okay, that's fine. You bag all you want, my dear. Fake pallet, my darling. Someone's nearby for a save. No, okay, that's just my imagination then. So the next real pallet that we come up to, we can just force into. We'll get our spirit fury procced, and then we're going to be in a great situation for ourselves. Get the hit on the Claudette there. Beautiful. Uh, she's going to be run main window, most likely. Oh, wow, she just WQ'd. She's just killed herself on hook. <laughs> she teabagged and then died in about two seconds flat. We have a Spirit Fury charge, but I'm not too sure how much value we're going to get. Uh, I don't want to chase Claude in this corner of the map, as this corner of the map is a complete and utter dead zone. So, we'll just see what we can do. This gen was not being worked on a few minutes ago. Here's Vito, I believe. Yes. Hubris. Spirit Fury. And down. Absolutely a beautiful combo. There's nothing you can do against it. Except just <laughs> admit defeat. Right, let's get you on the hook, my dude. Right, let's set that pallet back up. We still have two more tokens. Now we have a free gen area. Uh, four gen, actually. That's really good. Um, we'll just see what we can do to the best of our abilities. As far as we're aware, no one's on any hooks. Or oh, no one's on any gens. Um, they're not really healing either, so... Oh, Claudette's nearby. Hello, darling. He's killing himself on hook. This build's way too powerful, especially on a Freddy with fake pallets. You get that Spirit Fury, you get that Enduring, and you just get destroyed. Nothing you can do against it. That Yunjin got cocky, she started teabagging because we took her invitation, and she got destroyed after that. Oh, okay, we can't pick up more than one. Let's see if we can get some more uh, value. We're going to go after the ace here. Yeah. I want more build value, so we're just going to go for more of a chase here. He's just dropping pallets now. We need to initiate a chase. There's our first stack. Ah, oh, we can't use our second. We'll just get rid of the god pallet. And... I'm not too... Oh, okay. He's over here. Yeah, there he is. Sorry, my dude. You got a bit fucked. <laughs> You're not pre-dropping. Okie dokie. I kind of just want to get the Spirit Fury on this. Yeah, that's unlucky. I think he might be in comms of the Vittorio, knowing I have Spirit Fury. But we get that hit. Yeah, there's nothing you can do, especially in this event against Pallet Keepers. Anyone that controls Pallets in any way, Clown... Um, either Clown... Um, Freddy, anyone like that. Anyone who will play you around a pallet is... Yeah, there's nothing you can do. We know Claudette's running far into the distance over this way. Here she is on this corner. Fight the teleport. She doesn't know what to do. Get the grab. GG's. And there we go. That was a pretty fucking good game, if I say so myself. But yeah, the interaction that this build has, especially with this new event, is ridiculous. There's no winning against it, there's no doing anything.
If so you try and loop a pallet, it gets destroyed and the killer punishes you for it. If you try and get the stun to be able to get distance, you get punished for it. There is no workaround in the slightest. Hey, we also got Freddy Daily done. Let's have a look at these builds. So we have made for this uh, resilience, deliverance and hope on the Yunjin that was very cocky and start teabagging with a insta heal um, and a styptic. Either way, she got cocky. She didn't like the fact that she got downed in two seconds after. <laughs> um, made for this and resilience once again we have approve thyself and life um, reassurance but we didn't really camp too hard um, and then we have a made for this hope with advanced landing adrenaline I don't know why you would run made for this and adrenaline because when your adrenaline does pop your made for this will deactivate for the 40 seconds uh, until you stop walking same thing with balance landing but I guess balance landing is more of a crutch perk um, just to be able to get that distance and then once you've got that distance made for this isn't really useful then. But GG's to those guys, they played very well. Sanctum of Wrath. Right, let's give this build a try. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work the way I intend it to. This blade... I mean, it's nice, but it looks more like a Wesker, like, Legion type uh, blade. Let's see what we can do here. I don't think we're going to be getting a hit. Hello, darling. Let's try and get as many uh, like pallets gone as we can. I don't think this map's too good for pallets, uh, just in general. Oh, you messed up. I messed up, then you messed up, then it didn't go quite well. We do have deadlock um, just for overall purposes. Let's cloak here. They're on top. Trying to get like... I know someone was trying to reveal me here, so I'm trying to get a stalk angle, but I can't quite... Get it. Yeah, he knows. I see him. Beautiful. Right, he's gonna drop pallets here. Is there anniversary like toolboxes and stuff coming now? If so, I'll grab a couple of those. You just continue running straight, yeah. Oh, I really don't like that with the um, new cosmetics. When you walk backwards, it kind of like... Oh, I think it just depends if it's like an instant change in speed. Oh, didn't really look out for him, but that works. We're going to get a kick here on this gen. Unfortunately, we're not really getting as much value from our build. As we would like. Hubris value, baby! There we go. Let's get that pallet destroyed as well whilst we're at it. Let's go and interrupt the heal. If we can get an invitation, that'll be lovely. Uh, we probably should have put a Terramasu one so we can see the invitation. Um, things. But yeah, that was a perfect situation. That's fine. Right, we'll leave her at about like 60% or I think that's about 80. See if we can chase this Michaela here. Okay, Michaela's about 80%. Yeah, we're good. Beautiful. Insta down. That's what we like to see. Right, so we have hooked everyone equally at the moment. Gone for a four hook game. We've been able to get an exposed to on everyone but one person. Here's a um, invitation. This is going to be perfect for this build. So our plan is to make them drop the pallets, and then we're going to break it. And then the next pallet that we go um, towards, we're going to hit with a spirit fury, and they won't know what's coming. Let's just hope that the invitations uh, work in the way we think they're going to work. Let's 
Someone's around here. No way have I lost someone. I have no fucking clue. Okay. Call it out, I suppose. Oh, perfect, it's Jill. Beautiful down. And we saw someone in the distance as well, going for what seems to be a heal, which is absolutely perfect. Let's get you on this hook, my dearie. Maybe people don't like the name uh, Ellen. I mean, to be fair, it does not come across as a little sway. I want you to drop this pallet. No! How did that fail? Let's see if it counts. It does count. That is OP. This has literally just made a hubris spirit fury build overpowered. Okay. I can't believe I messed up an enduring play. That was ridiculous. He got the reverse on me and everything. It was settled perfectly. <laughs> and they're just doing gens. We don't have too much um, gem protection here. Uh, this guy's walking here. Yeah. Go for the hit here because we ideally want to get slammed with the pallet. Hello, darling. <laughs> the hubris. The amount of exposed downs that we're getting in this match alone is ridiculous. Let's get you on a hook, my dearie. Right, we need to start main, like ensuring that we can get a kill. So we need to just go for a kill um, at the moment. Event or not, kills are still important to be able to give us more blood points. But the fact we can basically insta-break pallets and then count towards Spirit Fury to be able to get an enduring um, hit is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. This is our kill. Ghosty is actually really good for blood points if you're able to maintain your marks. Is he going to get to her in time? He does. Okay. Not too many pallets are being dropped in this game. We've only had a couple. Let's get a little bit of a stalk on him. Here. We'll do stalk 20% faster. Because um, we are using the Philly add-on. Which, in my opinion, is one of Ghostface's bests. Another expose here. Can we get you to drop this pallet? Yes, we can. Let's break it. Cut him off here. Oh my god, I got completely bamboozled by him. Uh, what have you been doing on your break? Uh, it was primarily just kind of relaxing, getting to myself again. Um, because my mental health wasn't in the best spot. But then I was also kind of playing quite a bit of Apex as well. Um, and just taking the time I needed to be able to get back to being myself and kind of being happy. <laughs> and then um, I had a situation where I kind of... There was a lot going on in my personal life as well. Um, so I had to kind of change home situation. Then I didn't have my PC, so I was unable to start streaming again what I wanted to. Yes, I played DBD for nine hours straight, but right now I just rage, uh, rage quit. Yeah, I mean, if you are playing Survivor, genuinely, if you're playing Survivor, it's very hard to keep playing, uh, especially when you're solo. That's fine by me. We have plenty of stalk. We know Michaela's around here somewhere. Oh, we lost her? I think... 
No, she's here. No. Where is she? Oh. Oh, head on. Hello. But I opened the locker. What? Makes no sense to me. Mm, that gen still seems to be regressing. Uh, it's just the case that every game I can't get the chance um, to get nothing because I'm being chased 24-7. Yeah. Oh, we missed. That's unlucky. That's the hit, though. Right, I'm not too sure where this Vittorio is. This Vittorio seems to be, like, nowhere, but then when I do find him, he's everywhere. It's ridiculous. Let's get you on this hook. Yeah, so this build overall is just ridiculous. The fact that the... I don't think they intended for it to work like this. I guess it kind of works the same as Dissolution. But the fact that the... Um... Invitations count towards Spirit Fury as well. I'm guessing this is what charges the invitations. Okay, so now it's just like chase time. Take it. Okay. I don't think... I generally think the killers have a much easier time than a survival will. I want to see if I can get a hubris, pro, a hubris play on this guy. I don't think I will. That's fine by me. We're just going to let this chase go out a little longer. Lost him. Hello. How have I lost? Oh, has he got like quick and quiet head on? Oh, no, he's here. Oh, not me sucking. Let's see if I can get this uh quick. Beautiful. I think he's just gonna WQ. Yeah. <laughs> you got hubris as well, my dude. Oh, wow. Okay. So survivors can put pallets back up by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. If you upload a new video, uh, can you use a meme build? Uh, I can, if you would like. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to be doing my P500. Um, probably the two, maybe an extra two clown games. And then I'm going to be doing this build as well. Uh, with Hubris. Um, so that should be three videos that are coming soon. I'm hoping to get around three videos worth of games in this um, one match. I actually got the hatch. But that's insane the way that the invitation works with uh, Hubris. Absolutely diabolical. Um, made for this resilience, Iron Will Hope. Hope made for this. Yeah. That's all you see nowadays. <laughs> GG's to these guys.